from Contraband, now to Two Guns. It's your second time working with Mark Wahlberg. It was, uh, of course, easier getting into it, you know, like, okay, I know the guy, I know what he can do, you know, we're good friends and all that, but of course, we added Denzel to the occasion, and so now there was a bigger challenge. And this film definitely hinges on that, that chemistry between the two, which they have. Is it hard to get that going? Do you know? Do you have to work off screen a lot on that? Well, it's, it's uh, uh, yes, you do have to, but but at the same time, it's like almost something you can put your finger on. You know, either it is or it isn't. You know, and and you can't say to the actor, "I want more chemistry." You know, mm -hmm. it's like it, it either happens or it doesn't. But everything that can help you, the atmosphere on the set, the, you know, the way you introduce people, the way you create the, the creative you know, environment is a big part of that. Send them for beers after work and things like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, but also just, just the way well, how you direct the scene and how much you like, how can you open it up so, so they find it themselves, you know? Okay. It's, it's like you're introducing a couple or something. You gotta you know, get in the space, but you gotta introduce them. You gotta put them in a situation where they have to sit through the evening. You know, like it's, it's, it's like that, you know, you can't, and you can't just, oh, I want you to fall in love with this guy, right? No, it has to, it has to, you know, come, come naturally. So it's like matchmaking. Always. It's very much like matchmaking. I'm the matchmaker. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to the director and you were saying you kind of played a matchmaker role here between pairing you two. Is that kind of what it's like, making sure the chemistry is just right to get together? Well, if the chemistry is not right, the movie is not going to be watchable because the, the whole movie relies on the fact that you want to see these guys eventually come together or you enjoy watching them bicker at each other and trying to one-up each other. So if it doesn't work, it could be one long bad date. Exactly. Mm. And there's been quite a few of them this summer, so we need to... Ouch! <laughs> Ow. we, need to, we need to, you know, get people enthusiastic about going to the movies again. The industry, at the moment, there's a lot of introspection. Things are changing. People are using Kickstarter, the bro move of uh, one director supporting another director. What do you make of all of this when you see how big block up blockbusters aren't necessarily doing as well? You just got to constantly stay ahead of the curve. There's so many filmmakers who were so used to for such a long time making a movie a certain way in the studio system that X amount of money had to be spent. And I learned quickly uh, in producing television where you don't have as much time or as much money that you gotta figure things out. You cut out all the excess. So when I worked with Vault and realized after making The Fighter for $11 million, the Contraband was gonna be a $65 million movie. And we were like, no, we could do this. Let's do this for 25. That way if the movie's a success, you know, everybody stands to make a lot more money. So you just gotta have faith in the movies that you're making. And you know, it's nice, because come December now, just like last year, you see how successful Flight was. And, and a lot of these adult theme movies that studios, you know, deem as a risk, you know, but there's an audience for those movies, you know, and I think the, the, the effects driven movies is like, you know, Jurassic Park came out, it was groundbreaking, it was innovative, you know, you hadn't seen things like that before. But now, it all kind of looks the same. Mm -hmm. So people aren't buying into the 15 second spot because they're seeing a guy flying across the sky or, you know, a guy in a horse jumping off a train. You know, it, it takes more than that. And people want to get back to good old fashioned storytelling. And I think it's uh, the right move. They want soul. They want what? They want soul. They want I think so. Like I thought you said chicken. <laughs> they want soul and they want chicken. That's what the people want. Uh -oh. Fried chicken. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get the people uh -oh. what they want. Uh oh. Get the people what they need. You had Nando's in South Africa, right? Yeah. <laughs> Shoot ya. Yeah. Pity, pity. You didn't bring any sauce, did you? I'm sorry, no. Oh, you should have brought me a Very bottle. Nice to meet you. Thank you. It was it was a pretty, pretty Nando's. Oh, well. my goodness. Bye. I love Nando's. Chicken.